Well hello and welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is Monday the 11th of October 2021 and this is episode number 83. And anywhere you can find me it will be all down in the description box. And how are you all this week? Uh, a big big welcome to everybody. And as you can see, well, just about, I reckon it's nice and bright outside. We've got a really, really sunny day. Yesterday was so overcast. It was unbelievable. And today it's warm as well, which is quite nice. Not hot warm, it's just warm. <laughs> okay then, right. So, as you can see, I am not actually in the bedroom. Because <laughs> this is supposed to be my bad week. Um, to be honest with you, I was naughty and I actually did stop the tablets a couple of days early. Because um, then over the weekend, it's, it's nice because Glenn was here and so on, in case I was really, really poorly. But no, everything's fine, so I'm completely off them now and everything's back to normal. <laughs> if we all know what normal is. Anyway, right, there has been a lot of crafting being done. And yeah. <laughs> I've been quite busy this week. Also, I had a big, um, as I showed you last week, a big shop um, update in my Etsy shop. And I'd like to say thank you to everybody that has um, supported um, my shop on this one and obviously in the past. I do really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Okay, then, right. So, as I say, it's been, it has been a busy week. Just crafting really and just doing the shopping. I don't really do anything else, to be honest. <laughs> no, I haven't even have I been to the charity shops? I think I went to them once and got a couple of books. Yeah, I think that's about it really. Yeah. Oh, as you see in the photographs before. I got excited. Went to Morrison's just to get a little bit of food. And they had a sheep bed set. I had to buy it. I just had to buy it. So I have to take photographs on that set <laughs> of my new sheep <laughs> bed set. Well, our new bed set. But honestly, sheep, I couldn't believe it. Oh, I was so excited to get sheep. Um, yeah, that was about my highlight of my week, really. <laughs> okay, then, right. So we'll hop right into it, I think, this week. And um, I will say, let's have a look. I have cross stitch. Now I have an FFO. I have work in progress on that. I have my sock progress um, on my knitting. Because last week I hadn't even started the second sock. Where you'll see how far I've got on that. That's the kind of the crafting. I have been doing quite a bit on my Utah blanket, but I haven't brought it up this week because I thought, well, I won't show it every week. I'll try and show it every other week. Um, so, yeah, I'm nearly, I'm more than halfway through now. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing too bad on that at all. Um, and also I have got, let's see, one naughty. Hmm. Yeah, one naughty. That was if I had more than that. Oh well. One or anyway. And I have got the most special nice. But I'm going to show you all them later on. Okay then, right. So let's go right in. As you know, my lovely friend Teresa, who also surprised me with a nice, <laughs> um, um, uh, sport me and brought me the um, Yikes Berry cross stitch pattern by Erica Michaels and she also got me all the called for um, threads and a piece of the a piece of 16 count Ada and I did show it last week finished but not fully finished that was it I remember now and then in the week I actually fully finished my very very first strawberry I am so excited and on the top, I have bought a black cat button. And these here, it's just, a, this is a p orange a piece of wool felt that I brought years ago from um, the NEC, from the Quilt Fest. And I've popped them in, <clears throat> excuse me, with black little black headed pins. So you just pop it in 
like that but I absolutely love this and I will say I have got the bug of doing strawberries oh my gosh I love them absolutely love them they're an easy stitch they're easy enough to put together they really are and also Erica Michaels has her instructions and a template and everything already in here within the pattern but I absolutely love it so that is downstairs in my dough bowl with my other Halloweeny autumny bits and yes so excited about that <laughs> okay then right I've just had to take this off of my table because I've been down here doing downstairs doing this this morning well about lunchtime ish and as you know I am doing let me can't show you that bit <laughs> Let's see if I can find a picture for you. There you go. Which is Laurie Holt, the Kaleidoscope. Um, I have shown this before. This is... Let's have a look. Oh, come on. There it is. That's it. Front of the, the book, which is um, a quilt. There's a quilt in there pattern, but there's also the cross stitch pattern as well. I'm loving this, absolutely loving it. And as you can see, it is really, really growing. I've just got to do this little peach bit up here and then fill that in there. And then that is the, from that over is one quarter of it complete. Then that will be, do this bit, then that bit, then that bit, then that bit, <laughs> basically. I am using DMC threads and I am using uh, the new colours. I'm using number 28, number 8, and number 21. Now, actually, in the pattern, Laurie, do put, where is it? There you go. Suggested colours, and you get all that, you know, all the info there. And it's, um, but I just wanted to do my own colours basically. So I just chose like more of a, a dusky mauvey colour and then like a mocha, a bit of a darker mocha and then a peachy colour. But now I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. And the way I would explain it really is, um, it's like looking at it in a quilter's way really, is normally your cross stitch is what's given you the picture but with this it reminds me of reverse applique because it's actually the, the the actual ada or the cloth underneath is giving you the picture <laughs> it's hard to explain so it's like a reverse applique basically but uh, yeah i am thoroughly thoroughly enjoying it i really am Teresa and i am um, we had a face-to-face -face last wednesday and um she did say about um about framing it and i think i will just get a plain frame um and then obviously take the glass and that out and then just frame it uh, i don't quite know where i'm going to put it yet i haven't got a clue <laughs> i just fancy doing it and it is it is a stitch that i just can't stop doing which is very very good now because glenn's downstairs because he's uh i forgot he's taken Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I can't remember, off this week, off work, because um, he has to use up his holiday before December, but they're not allowed to do it in December, because obviously it's a busy time. Anyway, <laughs> he, um, um, so he's at home, so that's why I can't show you the other naughty that I got, so I, I will do it all next week, so, because I've left it. I've hid it downstairs in my trolley and he's downstairs, you see, so I can't get off my trolley. <laughs> oh, dear me. So I have got something else that I've got to get done ready for Christmas, you see, as a Christmas present. So anyway, that's about as far as I'll go <laughs> with that. Okay, then, right. So let's go into the knitting, shall we? Now, as I showed you last week, I had finished his sock. And I hadn't cast on the other one yet. And this week I am already. Oops. Let's get that. There we go. Oops. Ooh. Oh no, it's got it. It's got it. It's got it. Cool. Got so many stitches on here. <laughs> I am actually decreasing for the gusset. So 
uh, as I say, it's just a vanilla sock, uh, 2.5 DPNs, because I do love working on 2.5s. Um, because it's 2.5s, it is 68 stitches, because that's what I use for Glenn. And um, yeah, so these are going to be part of his um, birthday present to go with his welly boots. So I've got till the end of November, so I've got plenty of time to get that done. <laughs> the yarn, I will just quickly recap, is the zigzag. There it is, King Cole zigzag, colour, oh, it's got that lime. Hmm. Uh, colour 3251. And the actual contrast for the heel is the Drops Fable, and it's colour 103. So, yes, I am really plodding along with these and enjoying doing them. It's like, it's like an easy knit, really. So, very, very nice. So, that's the progress on those. As I say, I haven't brought up the crochet. Um, what I'm planning on doing is, I'm going to have to write it all down because I've got it in my head at the moment. I've got, I want to get that sock off the needles then I want to cast on the little um, gnome thing, uh, the crochet gnome, because once I get this sock off the needles, I want I would like to do some work on my mitered square blanket. So um, get some more um, squares put on that. So I'm going to do that after I've um, got the sock off the needle. Then I am going to... So get the gnome done, ready for November time. And I'd like to get as much done as I can on the kaleidoscope cross stitch. Because... I can't say anymore. <laughs> Until next week. But I did actually get as well, which is down there's, um my Chris, my Christmas Day start for cross stitch, which is that uh, because you know, oh, I, everybody knows that I love my hands-on designs patterns. I absolutely love them. And a couple of years ago, when Glenn brought me some, one of the chalkboard ones, he got me a piece of cloth. So, um, and I've got loads of it left over. So I went and got the spring. It's a small one. It's got two little pieces in it. And it's on the chalkboard again, so I really did like working on that. And it's got uh, it's got the little bunnies and that on it, and it's the spring one. So yeah, that will be my Christmas Day start, uh, ready to get that done, ready for the spring. Oh, gosh, so, so I'm gonna have to write all these down, all these things I'd like to get done, and what I've, what I you know what, what I'd like to get sorted, and what I'd like to get um, all finished, and then all ready for the the new starts okay then right so we're going to go into the naughty now now as you probably remember last year was it last year or the year before i think it was the year before i can't remember i can't remember no, last year i think it was glenn brought me the it should be <laughs> oh it should be there somewhere there it is the harry potter knitting magic book and then this year they went and launched the crochet one. Oh my word. It would be easier if I actually told you what I do not, <laughs> well, what I would not like to make out of it, to be honest. There is just so much in this crochet book. It is unbelievable. Obviously the Dobby, because Dobby is my favourite. That is definitely going to be, so once, um, so once I've got me gnome off the hook started and finished i reckon the dobby was gonna, is going to be the next one and i love the the harry potter um the house blanket but this i've come up with the idea of doing um amongst other things but even the garments in this is brilliant but oh here it is oh yeah right it's called the hogwarts acceptance letter cross body bag well i am not going to make it into a cross body Let's see if there's a better picture. Ah, that's a better picture, right? Um, let's see if I can cover that bit up. <laughs> oh, let's, let's use that. So I don't like folding books. Right, so 
it's that it's done in four ply yarn but as i say i'm not going to make the make the strap you know, get the strap or nothing because i think the strap is a cord yeah i'm not going to do that i'm not, not going to make it into a crossbody bag what i'm going to do is there you go is um just have that like that and make it into a, a project bag last year hold on a second here we go <laughs> Last year for Christmas, I was really impressed. <laughs> Glenn got me three fat quarters and uh, for Christmas, I don't know if you remember, but I thought this one, it'd be ideal for lying it and it is the right size because it's four ply yarn, 2.25 hook, which is absolutely perfect. Yeah, finished size, width 10 inch, length 8 inch after seaming so this because obviously it's 20 by 22 inch which is a fat quarter would be absolutely ideal so i'm planning on lining it with this and then having it as a project bag i just think it'll be perfect so i can't wait to get that um done so as soon as i get the u-toll and the gnome off the hook i'll definitely definitely be casting that on say and um so yeah you know yeah of anything i've got more um whatchamacallit four ply yarn than anything well i suppose if you don't include my um <laughs> my what's the name uh my stylecraft special because i have got a lot of that but even down to the say the garments i just love the garments um yeah it, it's just a brilliant brilliant book it really is and the the housing of the world sorting hat look at that that's amazing but as i say the dobby i've got to definitely do the dobby but yeah so i'm really really looking the hardest part actually in the book is choosing what to make first to be honest it really is i reckon it'll see i said the dobby didn't i but i reckon it'll probably be the what i'm going to make into the project bag then i reckon it will be the dobby <laughs> but i said there's so much i'm gonna have to write a list i'm definitely gonna have to write a list but i would highly highly recommend the crochet one if you're a crocheter you like harry potter this is the book for you honestly um i will say between you and me <laughs> as they say between you and me in the garden post um I think the, the crochet one is better when it comes to projects than the knitting one. I really would do. And also, the terminology is in UK. Well, this, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, that might be different in different countries. I don't know how it's been done. But it's um, it's in UK terminology. It's um, UK weight yarn, which is brilliant. So you've got your DK, your four ply and so on. Um, Aaron, there's some, some Aaron's in here as well, and yeah, it is it is just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I'm trying to remember. <laughs> That's going to really annoy me. Where I got it from? Because they had it should be 1995, and I got it. Was it for 12 or 13? And that was six over six pound off plus postage free now it weren't world of books and this is a new copy it isn't a second hand copy um was it good read good read i'll write it on the screen i'll write it on the screen for you if i find if i do actually find out um where i got it from but yeah i am absolutely brilliant i would recommend that definitely i say and their postage was absolutely brilliant it arrived really really um quickly so i would use them as a book i'm sure it was goodreads i'm sure it was anyway i'll write it on the screen for you now here we go i'm just going to move you back a little bit there we go because i need a bit of room <laughs> now ever since i've been starting doing this podcast 
there was this lovely lady right from the beginning because what I did is I did an intro then I started with episode one and so on and right from the beginning this lovely lady has she subscribed and I'd say 95% out of the 100 so far there has been a comment left if there's occasionally there hasn't been one left I think oh my gosh I hope she's okay because <laughs> she, she does <laughs> always comment and I messaged her this morning and um, to make sure this was okay and she said it's absolutely fine and this lovely lady called Colleen she lives in Texas and I do class her as a friend I have as I say right from the beginning because she's been there every week with her messages and, and so on and her support I will say her support and she asked me asked me a few weeks ago if um, it would be okay for her to send me a gift wow that's all I can say well I, I agreed and I, I passed over all my details and so on and then on Thursday this last week Thursday or Friday last week I think it was <sighs> wow that's all I can say there was a knock at my door and there was this parcel when I opened it I just did not know what to expect but my gosh that's all I can say um she made me and this will be treasured forever absolutely ever this gorgeous gorgeous project bag it is absolutely beautiful and she did put in um the card if i can find it in here let's have a quick look um there we are oh no there it is that the flower on there is blue bonnets there you go Tex texas the fabric on the bag is called texas blue bonnets it is their state flower and oh i just think it's so pretty i'm definitely going to have to um google it to have a look at a picture as well because i just think that is absolutely gorgeous also, because I've popped everything inside the bag, everything else that came. <laughs> um, also, um, she made a beautiful notions pouch in the same fabric. Oh, I just think it's gorgeous. And it's lined in the green. And this one is lined in the green. But look at that. It is just beautiful. Now, talk about being sport rotten. I just don't know where to start. I really don't. So inside th this, I have never seen this over here in the UK. And look at this. Oh, cats and pumpkins. Look at that fabric. Isn't that amazing? This uh, this one here. Um, let me see. There you go, the little black and white one. Um, I had um, a little cat called Tibby. I think I've mentioned her before in the past. Um, I, ha I kind of adopted her from her mum. Her mum didn't have rejected her from seven weeks old and I lost her when she was 16, bless her heart. And um, oh, she was my friend, my best friend and everything. You know, She used to sit, I used to crochet her a blanket. I loved my crochet blankets. And she'd sit down there. So every time I'm, I was up here in my room, she um, <laughs> was always down there snoring a little. Because you could hear her snoring over the sun machine. <laughs> oh, she was a character. She really was. And then she had another crochet blanket on the bed. And um, yeah, you could definitely tell that I was her mum. Put it that way. <laughs> but um, yeah, 2016, um, unfortunately, she passed. And I still miss her every day. Every single day. I miss her so much. And as soon as I opened it, and, I, and when Glenn came home from work, I said, look, who does that remind you of? And he said, oh, Tibby. <laughs> oh, but it's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the pumpkins. <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, I really do. <laughs> right, now, also, there was some... Oh, 
bags of trims which are good oh there we go bags of trims which are going to be perfect for when i'm doing my finishes look at the rick rack orange and black all full colors and some beautiful laces and three or uh, four sorry of the um dmc threads there is some where's the other bits there they are 14 count aiders oh I just think oh i could do so much with these absolutely so much with these and these lovely pins yet again these are going to be great for finishing things off and oh just absolutely brilliant and look at these look at these buttons they're so unrelated i just think they're so so brilliant uh, these lovely little pegs i love little things like this and what i thought because this is quite yeah they are they're tags they're quite um stiff uh you know card it's not a paper so what i thought i could do because there's the hole there is perhaps um get a punch and make a bigger hole here and then use them as um slush drops i thought yeah i i really i think they'll be brilliant as floss drops and these oh there they are look and they are the four designs that's in there so that's what i'm planning on doing with that and I will say, Colleen, you know me so well. You really, really do. Look at these. Hands on designs. This one. Oh, my gosh. Well, and this one. Oh, oh. Definitely going to be stitching those. And this is brilliant. Little House Needleworks, which is the needle shop, needle craft shop. And this one is my house. I just, I love Little House Needleworks. This one is brilliant, St. Patrick's, because I have mentioned before that my relatives, um, my granddad's side is Irish, so that's going to be perfect stitch. And then, the, oh, this one is lovely sheep. This is uh, Annie Beer's um, Folks Art. Now, I've never actually heard of these. I've never um, stitched any of this. So look at the sheep with the uh, summer underneath it. So I'll be doing that after I've done my what's the name one me spring one Um, these let's have a look oh this one luminous fiber arts now i've never done one of these either i just think that is brilliant and i've i've had in my head about doing um a piece in just one color so this is going to be my first one so i'm definitely going to be um stitching that and these ones this is oh, this is brilliant this is a pinker and pumpkin quilting and um, aunt b's summer home i can't show you there's not an actual it's just the chart but it doesn't matter and it's lovely so it's a house with pumpkins so that's definitely going to be stitched for next year this one is a wax moon designs and it's a blackbird sitting on a pumpkin definitely got to be done <laughs> uh, stone street Stitchworks, um, oh, I'm gonna fold that just a little bit like that. It's, it's that little cushion, so I'll be doing that. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. This one is, oh, I can't find whose it is, but it's a little mouse and it's just beautiful. So I'll be doing that, but I can't say I can't show you because they're just charts and I don't know if they're paid for or not. So all of this <laughs> came in this gorgeous project bag. Hands on designs. That one is definitely going to be done ready for next year, for next Christmas. Oh, I just love it. Absolutely love it. It is, oh my gosh, it's, it's what to start <laughs> first. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to be making floss drops um, out of those um, tags. As I say, I just got to get a bigger punch for the, for the base. Um, I'm sure I've seen them in our, um, what's it called, Hobbycraft. I think they do all different kinds of um, stamps and so on. So, and oh, I didn't show you the front and this beautiful, beautiful card. It's, oh, it's that printed in the USA. It's absolutely gorgeous. Caroline Shaw's right. Oh, 
it's absolutely beautiful so i have got to say <laughs> the biggest biggest thank you colleen i send you lots of love and big big hugs um i just don't know <laughs> what to say really because thank you it really is, isn't enough in my opinion it is just amazing absolutely beautiful and they will all be treasured oh my gosh they will be and i will say because i know that we emailed each other this morning that um you know my my love and my thoughts and prayers are with you over <laughs> over there in texas at the moment because i know you've been dealing with winds and stuff so the weather isn't being friendly with you at the moment so please stay safe <laughs> so um yeah so thank you colleen thank you so much and i think i heard you mentioned on mama loves you uk um yesterday on her sunday briefing because i think you've been doing the floss drop challenge swap thing and um, i'm sure well there was a colleen from texas and i thought <laughs> is there two <laughs> <laughs> or are you the same person so as soon as i heard colleen from texas i thought oh what if I, what if I was my colleen <laughs> so thank you ever so much thank you okay then right that is it for this week um I, I thought it was going to be short and sweet, but actually it's going to be about normal time i think after um i've put all my photographs at the front and the back and so on I am quickly just going to say, if there's anybody that is um, still, you know, been interested in the collaboration that I did with um, Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit Yarns, um, I haven't heard any different uh, about, um, you know, the, the content of, of the quality of what's left and a quantity, sorry, of what's left of the collaboration and so on. So, um, you know... I'll, I'll give it a, give them a mention anyway just in case there is any left because I say I haven't I haven't had time or a chance to actually been and um, to ask Claire to be honest about um the progress and everything but what I will say is you know please if you're still interested hop over to Mr and Mrs Rabbit Yarns which is www.mrandmrsrabbityarns.co.uk screen <laughs> um so yeah so you know hop over and ha have a look and because she does lovely yarns anyway and she has been doing some really nice um autumnal tones so yeah definitely pop over and have a look at her shop okay then right then so i'm gonna love you and leave you all and i'll be back next monday as always so i will say take care stay safe happy crafting bye